Howdy, arty aliens, and welcome. I am Paul Yateman. I draw stuff. In today's video, I am finishing my drawing of a caterpillar by slotting it into a sort of a cartoon. While developing my design, I drew several variants from Happy and Cute to the Undead, and I figured today I would include a lot of them into a cartoon panel and tell a story. I also used my black sugar paper sketch pad for something different. This took about 30 minutes to draw in actuality. A few days ago, I drew a bunch of things and explored some character creation. My favourite for the day was the smiling caterpillar. On the next day, I explored this more in a waterproof sketch pad while having a bath. This led to a series of character studies ranging from cute and happy to deformed and not so good looking. Today I was going to develop one of these designs more and then I thought it would be fun and challenging to try and develop my character studies into more of a narrative and that's what we ran up with today. Drawing on black with either my blue or graphite pencils was not much chop as the contrast is really poor. It shows up fine on camera but with my viewing angle the graphite was pretty much invisible and even worse for the blue. Still. By referencing what my camera was picking up, I was able to create rough sketches using my HB and from there I used my coloured white pencil to sketch out my drawing. I used solid white boxes for the panels and mixed up the sizes and shapes a little to make the story dynamic. I figured that the caterpillar could have a munch on some infected or perhaps genetically modified food and have a bad reaction. And this is not social commentary as I love modified food. Almost all of the commercial crops are the result of genetic modification through selective breeding. Use of food in today's story is purely and as a narrative device. For my story, the key elements are Caterpillar sees food. Caterpillar eats food. The beastie looks a bit worried about what he has just eaten. We cut to a wider shot where the caterpillar seems a bit distressed and it has also lost its limbs and its head spikes have fully mutated into antenna. Our final scene is of the caterpillar looking very much transformed and drooling. By bending the antenna down, I've tried to show that the animal is sad at what it has become, which also implies that the animal is also fully conscious of what it has become. Overall, my use of colour was fairly sparse. I did add full colour backgrounds in the end, though I kept that fairly muted. For the final element, I graduated the green, though on camera that looks pretty wonky. And when I've coloured, I've kept my strokes fairly light to give the texture of the paper in the background. So, what do you think? Can you do better? Show me! I'm not sure what to do until the end of the month. More character studies. Copy or interpret screenshots so I learn some techniques. We shall see. Anywho, if you found this interesting, informative, entertaining and all that fun stuff, subscribe, like and share. Until next time, you've been watching Drawing Stuff with me, Paul Yateman. Happy drawing and take care.